This week I'm in Yellowstone National Park and today we're in the Lower Geyser Basin checking out some of Yellowstone's lesser known geothermal features. Join me as we explore Firehole Lake Drive. Firehole Lake Drive is a three mile one way road just off Yellowstone's Grand Loop Road. And this scenic drive offers some truly unique features that don't draw the same attention as Grand Prismatic, which is just a mile down the road. So if you'd like to escape some of the crowds, this area is definitely for you. This scenic drive passes geysers, hot lakes, hot springs, even a hot cascade, just over a mile from the famous fountain paint pot. The first feature you'll come across on the left-hand side of the road is Lemon Spring, which is named after the yellow and orange layer of bacteria glistening on the rim of the spring. Now, the colors aren't always present, though, due to temperature changes it undergoes throughout the year. A little further down the road is another turnoff for Broken Egg Spring and Firehole Spring. Now, both springs are aptly named. However, Firehole tends to steal most of the attention. This is probably one of the most beautiful, colorful features in the park. Early explorers of Firehole Spring thought the large bubbles looked like flashes of light, hence the origin of this spring's name. As with all thermal areas in Yellowstone, it's important to stay on the boardwalks and official trails, never entering or touching the hot springs. Up next is Surprise Pool. Enjoy taking a stroll on the boardwalk here that arcs around the boiling pool. Now, no one has ever seen it erupt, so we're still all waiting for the surprise here. Just a stone's throw away from Surprise Pool, you'll find the Great Fountain Geyser. As one of Yellowstone's major geysers, this is certainly the most popular stop on this loop. Erupting every 10 to 14 hours, the geyser erupts over 100 feet on average, although sometimes it can reach over 200 feet. Now, it can be challenging to plan a visit during the eruption, but when it blows, it can last an hour or longer. Our next stop is Pebble Geyser and White Dome Geyser. As you can see, White Dome has built itself up into a massive cone shape that's almost completely sealed off. It only sprays around 30 feet up, but eruptions are frequent, happening about every 20 to 30 minutes. Pebble Geyser, on the other hand, hasn't erupted since 2003.
the massive cone of white dome geyser indicates that it's probably been erupting for hundreds of years. And from such a large cone, one might expect a huge eruption. However, the narrow vent has nearly been sealed off over the years. One of the many geysers along the boardwalk is Steady Geyser, and this feature gets its name from its perpetual spouting. Emitting magnesium oxide, Steady Geyser is the reason Black Warrior Lake displays such a dark color appearance. The dark reddish brown color in the water is a result of warm water bacteria that lie just under the surface here. Our last stop today along Firehole Drive is a cluster of geysers scattered around three geothermal lakes, Hot Lake, Black Warrior Lake, and Firehole Lake. There are wonderful boardwalks that allow you to get up close to several geothermal features here, including the Hot Cascades, with a small waterfall that connects Hot Lake and Black Warrior Lake. Several vents supply water that averages 158 degrees Fahrenheit here. And on a cold day, you can feel the steam against your face as you walk along the beautiful boardwalk trail. Thank you so much for joining me today at Yellowstone National Park at one of the spots I think is most underrated. For even more information on this area, see my full Firehole Lake Drive blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.